Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage, and this is a quick update on the whole YouTube copyright claiming bullshit that's going on. <clears throat> so on top of that nonsense, I found that several of my videos, over 20 videos, as you can see right here, have been randomly unmonetized. Now, not only is this a massive inconvenience, but I wasn't notified. You know, before all this uh, YouTube different layout came about and before YouTube even sort of implemented this content ID automated system-ish type of thing, there used to be a feature, right, that came up on the, I don't know if you can see this, hold on, I'll just quickly move the uh, webcam on the other side. So, when you had a unmonetized video, it would come up saying you have X amount of videos that need to be monetized. Do you want to go ahead and monetize these videos? Where is that feature gone? YouTube? Because not only would that make my life so much easier, I now have to go through every single fucking video and monetize them myself. Like... I wouldn't have cared if they got uh, unmonetized, but the fact that I wasn't even notified that these videos even can, were considered for unmonetization is kind of annoying. Now, sure, you could argue that I don't really get many views on these videos anyway. Why the hell would you bother? Well, it's still annoying to have unmonetized videos on your on your account. Now, as you can see on the left here, I do not have a content ID claim, so. <laughs> For some reason, these videos have been unmonetized. I have no idea why. I only found out that this may already occur or may have occurred for some people, but on the Necessary Gaming's forum, where someone said that uh, some of their videos were unmonetized, so all they had to do was go and monetize them again. Now that was completely true. I went uh, to page thirteen. Sadly, all of the Spec Ops: The Lion videos. Oh, and that one's become unmonetized for some reason all of them videos became unmonetized and a few of these ones so I don't understand like this one was monetized yesterday yet it got or sorry this morning because I went and did this yet it's unmonetized again like when are you going to learn YouTube that if you do something let the person that was affected know about it you know like I just don't even understand what they're doing right now but anyway I don't have a con as you can see here I don't have a content ID claim but yet if we go hold on I'm just gonna do it like this because it will take way too long I found that one of my videos Metro Lost Light Chronicles Pack DLC playthrough Pavel Part 2 Check this out. As you can see here, it says monetized, right? When you go into the video, there's no monetization settings. Now, I've contacted my partner or my YouTube partner, and they're hopefully going to get back to me because this is the, the, the most weirdest issue that I've ever had. I used to get this. Uh, I've had this a couple times where that when I upload something, if it didn't have you know, information about the developer or this line of disclaimer and also an image in the upload, then it would have this. I've had this several times, but for some reason it's doing it again. Now, I've also tried re-uploading this three times and two extra times on a different browser. That other browser was Firefox, as you can probably already tell I'm using Chrome. So, that didn't work, and for some reason this... On Chrome, I'm still using the older layout, so I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I'm actually kind of liking it because I don't really like the new layout. But anyway, this, like, uh, I, I would just like to be notified when a video gets unmonetized and give us back that old feature where, you know, if we had videos that needed monetizing, it would come up asking us, you know, to monetize X amount of videos. 
and they still have not fixed or removed this random email address that is actually allocated to my account once linking my Google account, right? So if you don't know what that means, when I signed up for this account, I used this Gmail account. So why does Google have to therefore create a random fucking Google account email address for YouTube when they forced us to sign up with one to begin with? I still don't understand that. But anyway. Ugh. Anyway. Alright. So as you can see here, I don't have any copyright notices on uh, Madigan 3D1 as they remove that fucking... As they remove that fucking claim because Gong literally had no no affiliation with Aliens Colonial Marines or Gearbox Software. So therefore, they had no rights to that video. Now... I would like to point out that under copyright law, right, you cannot upload or physically call something your own if you do not own the rights to it, right? So therefore, or with that in mind, how are these random companies going onto YouTube and falsely claiming content ideas that they do not own? Because in fact, that is actually fraud and illegal. In every country that has copyright laws. So, I'm not sure what is going on here. But, I still don't understand how random companies can go out and try to claim content IDs that they do not own. How can they do that? Now, this is an issue because not only can they put a copyright notice on your account or copyright claim, whatever you want to call it, onto your account, if they reject your dispute, you get this secondary notice saying that you have to fill out all this stuff, why do you think that it is under fair use or what have you, then if they reject that, your video gets flagged and it is given a copyright strike on your account. That is fucking sketchy as all balls, YouTube. Like... What YouTube is currently doing right now, and YouTube has done this in the past, like they've allowed fake content ID claims to happen for ages, right? What they're potentially doing is actually violating their own copyright law within America. Because not only does that uh, people falsely claiming content or material that they do not own, they're allowing it to happen and thousands of millions of people this is very illegal should not be happening yet they try to enforce content IDs my cat really wants to get out but hold on so I just want to end this video with the idea that YouTube really needs to sit back and go okay how can we improve content ID because I don't have a problem with content ID as a whole right I don't care if they are automatically going through my videos, checking out whether my videos are legit and whether I have permission to upload them. Hold on, I'm just going to quickly let out my cap. One second. Okay, so once he's out... <laughs> Yeah, I still I don't understand how YouTube's been letting this happen for you know years. This has been happening since I was you know glitching on Modern Warfare Two. This is how ridiculous it has been, and YouTube hasn't even bothered to even stop this shit. Like I don't understand how, say, if a company like uh, Naughty Dog and Sony, whatever, if there's a background license or music that's playing in that game. I don't understand how someone that is, isn't is affiliated with Sony or Naughty Dog, and mind you that Naughty Dog has the license to play said song under a Sony license agreement, yet someone not from Sony affiliates or Naughty Dog tries to claim that said video or audio as their own. 
Last time I checked, content IDs were generated to specific con uh, copyrighted material for independent independent uh, developers or you know just publishers and content creators. Therefore, you can't claim someone else's content ID. So YouTube is allowing this to happen, and these companies that are fake or putting in fake claims are getting away with it when in actual fact they are potentially committing fraud, copyright fraud, yet nothing happens to them. Sorry, but that is really sketchy, and that's not something that I really want to be a part of. So, get your shit together, YouTube, because Content ID is a really good thing. You know, it's, a, it's an automated check that checks your videos for copyright infringement. Yet, let's go down to the copyright tab here. Now, what is fair use? Let's click that. Okay, in the United States, oh, hold on, I'll highlight this so you know what I'm reading. In the United States, copyright copyrights are limited to the or by the doctorate of fair use under which certain uses of copyrighted material for criticism commentary news reporting teaching scholarship or research may be considered fair us what I mean us judges determine whether a fair use defense is valid according to four factors so that statement alone states that anything that is Created within criticism or commentary is considered fair use. Yet the content ID system doesn't even affiliate any of that, doesn't even remotely check for fair use law. So what is the point of having content IDs, or sorry, content ID claims, when your system is broken and it doesn't even check for fair use claims? I mean, like, we shouldn't get any of these if you're a part of a gaming partnership to begin with. The whole idea of having a partnership was that you were behind a secondary line of defense, right? So you would expect that these companies would already have some sort of license to allow you to play a game and upload that content to the internet, or in this case, YouTube. That is not the case for most partners. Sadly. So, what is the point of even being with a partner? Well, the only benefit to being with a partner now is that they give you more money. So, I just want to let you guys think about this whole video. What do you think has been going on? Why do you think it's been going on? And how you think YouTube could implement a better content ID claim system to incorporate... US law for once, like, please. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Any, I haven't seen anyone say that these fake copyright claims are actually legal because under every copyright law, that is considered copyright fraud. I'm sorry, but it's true. Yet nothing is happening to these companies. That is like me trying to claim Angry Joe's videos as my own to try and get revenue. It just doesn't make sense. You know, I don't own his videos. I don't own anything, any of his content. So how can I claim that? Doesn't make any sense. Unless I have actual physical evidence as to the content being my own creation or it's, it's mine, then these fake copyright claims should be gone. Just completely gone. Because not only do they not have proof that they own the content, they don't even own the content ID, let's be honest. So there needs to be something done to actually fix this shit, because it's going to go on for several months now, I reckon. If it's not fixed within that time, then a lot of people will be jumping ship. A lot of people will. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's kind of been an update video on what's been going on with my channel. And also, 
what I have found out with the monetizing system and a bit of, you know, copyright knowledge, I guess, for people that don't really understand. And by I will be titling this something along the lines of YouTube, uh, fake YouTube content ID claims, illegal, something like that. Because it is true, you know. These claims or these false claims are illegal. But anyway, guys, I want to end this video just to say that I will be uploading uh, a few news videos on my Madigan321 account. I just wanted to get all this shit out of the way before I even bothered uploading again. So, I don't have any content ID claims. That's good. But let me know how many you have and how many unmonetized videos you have now. And whether you have actually checked to see if all your videos are unmonetized. Or if you have checked to see if you have any unmonetized videos. I would like to know. Anyway guys, my name is Rampage. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Blah, <laughs>